What is up everybody, Scott Porter here for day five and the final video in our unboxing series for Deadpool and X-Force, the new Heroclix Marvel set. Uh, it has been an awesome journey opening these boosters with you guys. Uh, we only have two more left to open. Uh, I'm super excited. Uh, at this point, you guys know where I am. If you've watched the first uh, four videos, if you haven't, please go back and watch them. I'm going to get right to it today because the special surprise at the end of this one is going to blow your mind and I want to get to it as quickly as possible. Again, this set will be coming out in March. The pre-release will be happening in February. Go to your local comic shops, go to your local game stops, reserve your cases, make sure you reserve your spot and the pre-release and let's just get right to it today. All right. Ooh, yes. Another old X-Force member. Very excited about this. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. A boom, 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 and let me hear you say, well, well. Uh, very excited about that. Uh, oh, we have Psylocke. Oh, yes. We have Domino. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. We have <laughs> Tippy Toe. Uh, Tippy Toe, Squirrel Girl's little friend. Tippy Toe is an actual uh, figure in this set. Uh, I thought she would be just attached to Squirrel Girl's card. I didn't think that she would uh, have her own little thing. And, ooh. We have Madcap. Now, we've already seen Madcap, but we saw his uh, his Deadpool core uniform. So as I suspected, it looks like each of these guys is going to have a regular costume and a uh, alternate Deadpool costume. That's pretty neat. Really, really cool there. Okay, so we'll take a look at Madcap, see if his card is any different uh, with his regular costume than it was that we just saw, I think, yesterday or the day before. Um, all right, wow, five new figures on day five. Open a booster and have all five new figures. This is, this is really cool. Uh, like I said, the, the, as far as like having duplicates and stuff, it has been very, very low. So I'm incredibly excited about this particular uh, brick that I got to open with you guys, man. Uh, we'll start with Boom Boom, okay? Three, two, one, boom, it's a special attack power. Boom Boom can use energy explosion and penetrating psychic blast when she makes a ranged attack and has no action tokens. Modify her attack and damage values by plus one. Okay, so there you go, boom boom. A pretty slight dial, only five clicks long, uh, but pretty powerful, she packs a punch, as anybody named Boom Boom should. Yep, okay. Again, guys, I know about the shadow that uh, pops up sometimes. I hope it doesn't bother you guys too much. We'll get it fixed next time. That's why we call these quick and dirty unboxing videos. Uh, it's shot on my iPhone. I just want to get them out to you guys as quickly as possible. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. And uh, let's see. Let's go on to, uh, I guess, Tippy Toe. Tippy Toe can't do much, right? Tippy Toe is, is 25 points. She's more expensive than Chipmunk Hunk or Koi Boy, uh, which is really uh, interesting. Uh, Tippy Toe, if you can see, she is so tiny. Uh, has Great Lakes Avengers and Animal keywords. Has a special attack power called Squirrel Talk. Give Tippy Toe a free action to deal one damage to an opposing character within eight squares and line of fire that occupies printed hindering terrain. So you got somebody hiding out in stealth. Uh, you got somebody annoying, like a hand ninja or something, just hiding out in stealth. Just reach out and touch him with Tippy. Uh, that's awesome. That's hilarious. Uh, again, my wife, she likes to steal all my cute characters. That thing's never going to stay in my box. My wife is stealing that one immediately. Madcap, I'm just going to take a look at the card real quick. Three traits, Mercs for Money, Boop, and Instant Healing. Uh, it looks like the dial is the exact same. Different sculpt, but same dial. So uh, the only difference is... Uh, this one has Mercs for Money uh, trait. Each time another friendly character hits with the Heroes for Hire, uh, sorry, each time another friendly character with the Heroes for Hire keyword KOs an opposing character, heal Madcap of one click. Now that's different than the I am the Deadpool brand of mercenary uh, you were looking for, which is the trait that the Deadpool core uh, version will have. So their shared trait will change. I hope that makes sense to everybody. Their shared trait will change, but nothing else on their card or their dial looks like they change. So for characters like Slapstick, uh, who we've seen both versions of, uh, characters like Solo, who we've only seen the Deadpool core version of, uh, their dial will stay the same, only that one keyword, that, that, uh, that kind of shared keyword will change. 
Okay, now we have Psylocke, one of my favorite characters of all time. Top five favorite X-Men of all time. Psylocke has X-Force, X-Men, Assassin, and Martial Artist. Uh, Psylocke can use Stealth, that is the X-Force trait, which all of them share, apparently. Cable had it, Deadpool had it, I'm guessing uh, Domino might have it, I don't know. Or no, no, this is Wolverine had it, that's right. Uh, also has a trait called Mind Blade. When Psylocke makes a close attack and hits an opposing character that can use Incapacitate, Mind Control, Outwit, or Psychic Blast, roll a d6 that can't be re-rolled and increase Psylocke's damage value by half of the result. So anytime that she runs up on somebody with Mind Control, Incapacitate, Outwit, or Penetrating Psychic Blast, you roll a d6 and you increase her printed damage by half of the result on that d6. So man, she can do some serious damage. That is a trait, guys. That is a trait. That is not a special attack power or damage power. That is a trait, straight up. She's deadly, as Psylocke always is and always will be. Uh, she is so great. Uh, oof. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Okay, uh, last but not least, we have Domino. One of my favorites as well. Old school X-Force. I'm very excited to see her again. Typical Domino uh, sculpt, you know, just kind of aiming that gun at you, probably hiding in stealth. Uh, she has the X-Force trait, which means Domino can use stealth, and she has a trait called Bad Luck Lady. Domino can use probability control, of course. When an opposing character re-rolls an attack targeting Domino, immediately modify the attacker's attack and damage values by negative one. So you try and hit her, she's in stealth, uh, she's got close combat reflexes, you don't hit her, you need to re-roll your attack, she uses probability control, and now you've got to negative your attack and damage values by one? Wow. Oh, she's gonna be so annoying. She is gonna be so annoying. Unless you have a way to hit her from range in her stealth, oh, woo. She is going to be anno annoying, and she's only, oh, well, actually, she's 90 points. Pretty high cost uh, for this set. Uh, okay, last booster in this set. Now, I think we've already pulled three, uh, three super rares. I don't believe that we've seen a prime. We had Hellcow, uh, we had Colossus, uh, and we had Dead Girl. Those were our three super rares. So no prime, but that's okay. Getting a super rare uh, was... Oh, oh, guys, I just pulled a natural chase. I just pulled a natural chase in this booster right here. Uh, okay, this is how they'll be packaged. I wasn't sure. Oh my gosh, but this one is in a giant Ziploc. Guys, can you see what that is? That's D.E.A.D.D.P.O.O.L. That's the Modoc version Deadpool. Oh my God, oh, I'm losing my mind right now. So cool. Oh, now the rest of the people we got, we got Fool Killer, okay, uh, Fool Killer is number 3A, so Fool Killer is going to have one of those normal costumes and one of the Deadpool ones, we've got a, oh, we've got a, a generic ninja using the Psylocke sculpt, that's smart, uh, we've got Deadpool himself, which we've already seen, I believe we've already seen this one, nope. Ooh, this is 17. Actually, we'll take a look at this Deadpool as well. He's got little finger guns. Uh, this Deadpool is using his fingers for guns, not actual guns. So we'll take a look at his card as well. And then we've got Howard the Duck, folks. <laughs> Howard the Duck. Why not? Uh, there we go. So again, these last two boosters, we had... Five characters we had not gotten yet. Uh, this is awesome, man. Not too many duplicates to speak of. Very, very cool. Um, looks like we're gonna get two surprises today because I, I pulled uh, a chase and I've got something special to show you at the end of this one. Uh, so let's just look real quick at their cards. Um, I'm guessing this ninja is a real simple generic. Uh, she's only worth 15 points. Let's see, her... <clears throat> Okay, she has one special attack power. Strike from the shadows. Ninja can use stealth. When ninja occupies hindering terrain, modify her range and damage values by one. Very simple. We've seen people like her before. Uh, four clicks long, you can see the back of the card. Okay, boom. All right, quick and easy, easy peasy. Fool killer. 
uh, Fool Killer. This one uh, is the A version, so I'm guessing you'll see a Deadpool version of Fool Killer as well. Uh, this one has the Mercs for Money keyword. Each time another friendly character with the Heroes for Hire, hire keyword KOs an opposing character, heal Fool Killer, one click. He also has a trait called Killer of Fools, which of course he should. Modify Fool Killer's attack value by plus two when attacking an opposing character that missed an attack since your last turn. Oh, if you miss, you're going to pay the price. Fool. There you go. There's his card. All right. I know I'm speeding through these guys. It's, it's because I want to see what this, what this chase does. I'm so excited about it. Uh, let's look at uh, Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck has Defenders, Animal, Celebrity, Martial Artist, Mystical, and Politician. Jeez, that's a lot of generic keywords. Uh, he has a trait called Master of Quack Fu. Howard the Duck can use Sidestep. He has an attack special power called Foul Mouthed. F-O-W-L, Foul, thank you very much. Howard the Duck can use Incapacitate. When he does, he may target all adjacent opposing characters. Okay, TK him up into a little crowd. Hit one guy, incapacitate all of them. Uh, and he has a damage special power. We can do this the wrong way or my way. <laughs> At the beginning of your turn, choose a standard power that an adjacent, friend, adjacent friendly character can use. Until your next turn, all characters within six squares and line of fire of Howard the Duck can't use the chosen power. Okay, kind of cool. There's his card. Here's the sculpt one more time, and he is unique. I'm guessing that last power that I read I didn't want that duplicated, I don't think. Okay, all right, now we'll take a look at the man himself, Deadpool. This Deadpool has shifting focus just like the other ones. Give Deadpool a free action. If he began uh, your turn on the map, replace him with another character with this trait on the same click number. He has another one called, another trait called Bang, 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 Bang. When Deadpool hits one or more opposing characters with a range attack, put a bang token on this card. Once per turn, you may remove a bang token to reroll Deadpool's attack roll. Okay, so the bang tokens basically allow him to have probability control. It's pretty cool. All right, if you can see all that there. And uh, I think this might be my de favorite Deadpool. I don't know, Bunny Slipper Deadpool is pretty awesome, but this one with little finger guns is great. I mean, that's just solid. That's solid. Range of seven with two targets, so pretty good. Okay. Whew. This guy. This bad boy. <laughs> this might be my favorite click ever. Uh, I am a huge fan of Modoc. If you guys know who uh, Mike Mitchell is, he's an amazing artist. He does a lot of uh, really cool, like, uh, like side shots of, of characters, uh, I'm forgetting the name of it, but profiles, really cool profiles of characters. And he did a MODOK and I have it in my man cave. It's, it's incredible. Anyway, uh, MODOK is amazing, but this particular piece is even better. Um, let's see, is a comic panel uh, where he's giving a big leadership speech, it looks like, uh, which grants you enhancement uh, as the comic panel. Uh, he's 150 points. See, he's got the AIM keyword, Deadpool Core, Assassin, Robot, and Scientist. Uh, his real name is Destructive Engine of Assassination, despite Penicoptosis, obsessed with an opponent liquidation. Okay. Uh, he's got the comic panel trait, uh, which we've heard with all the other chases. Uh, at the beginning of your turn, if Deadpool has no action tokens, you may attach a comic panel to him removing one that's already attached. Uh, he also has a trait called Destructive Engine of Assassination, despite, oh, just look at my real name, please. Uh, Deadpool can't use the carry ability. When Deadpool makes a close attack and actions resolve, he may make a range attack, firing out of adjacency and ignoring uh, figure bases uh, using improved targeting. Uh, he also has a special movement power called Freedom Augmenting Rocket Transport System. Deadpool can use charge and sidestep. Uh, when he uses sidestep and actions resolve, he may use smoke cloud as a free action, but only to place hindering terrain markers and squares he moved through. Okay, very cool. Man, he has got a ton of stuff. Uh, he's got ooh, a pretty sick dial as well. Bunch of support powers. 
down on his damage slot line. Uh, man, I can't wait to run this guy. I mean, he's actually, any, anywhere I go, I mean, he's going to be displayed in my house for sure. 100% for sure. Displayed in my house. Look at that. It's his little tiny arms. Oh, so great. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, well, that does it for the Deadpool and X-Force unboxing series. Five days, uh, a crazy whirlwind, crazy whirlwind ride through the world of the Merc with the Mouth. Man, that was, a, that was a mouthful. I should never try and say that sentence ever again, so I will spare you. I won't say it again now. Mm. So that's it. We're all done. Wait, oh wait, hold on. Did I say I had a surprise? Did I say I had a surprise? I do. I, do, I did, and I do, I do have a surprise. Um, did you guys know that this set has a an ultra chase? It has an ultra rare. Yeah, it does, and, and that ultra rare is, well, I said that this Deadpool was the greatest sculpt I'd seen, but I, that was a lie, because the greatest sculpt I've ever seen is actually right here, guys. Uh, <laughs> it is Deadpool riding a unicorn. Yep. Riding a unicorn uh, underneath a rainbow. It's incredible. Guys, I hope you can see this sculpt in all its glory. And it comes with a Clix FX base. And that Clix FX base is actually, well, it's it's a rainbow. <laughs> Clix FX base. Uh, yeah, look at that. It's insane. Um, he has Mystics. He has 140 points. And uh, I'm going to read his card to you right now to finish our unboxing series. Uh, again, thank you to WizKids for sending me all these chases, guys, so that I could share them with you. Uh, it makes this unboxing feel like even extra special. I feel like you guys are getting some really cool stuff every single day, and I hope you guys appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy this boxing series. Uh, let's get to what this Deadpool does. Uh, Deadpool has two traits, and he has a special power. One of the traits is called That Horn Just Ain't For Show, at the beginning of your turn, if Deadpool has no action tokens, he can make a close attack using blades, claws, fangs. Okay, at the beginning of your turn, boom, no action tokens, he makes a close attack using blades, claws, fangs. He has a second trait called, I'm here to spread joy and rainbows. When Deadpool hits an opposing character after actions resolve, you may place the rainboy, rainbow joy marker <laughs> on that character. Removing it from anywhere else. A character with the rainbow, rainbow joy, man, I can't say that, rainbow joy marker, uh, cannot attack Deadpool unless it is the only character on its force. At the beginning of its player's turn, a character with the rainbow joy marker may roll a d6. On a result of five or six, you may remove the rainbow joy marker. Uh, I'm just gonna be hitting people with the rainbow, rainbow so I just called a rainbow marker, rainbow, rainbow joy mark. Jeez, I cannot talk right now. This is crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna be throwing rainbows at everybody. Uh, the special defense power he has is you have never seen anything so awesome. Deadpool can use impervious. Okay. Once per game, when Deadpool would take damage, you may choose that he takes no damage instead. So once per game, when Deadpool would take damage, uh, you can just say. You know what? He doesn't take that damage. So when someone comes running at you with a ultra heavy object and deals a bunch of damage, you can just go, eh, but what if you didn't? What if you didn't? Anyway, uh, his, his other power names are awesome. This thing is a babe magnet, petting privileges revoked, rainbows fill your heart, like literally don't touch my unicorn. <laughs> they eat chimichangas, I think I saw that on cable. Everyone loves unicorns, right, right? Unicorn milk. Don't ask, that's the support power. <laughs> uh, yes. So there you go, guys. Uh, you saw, wow, five chases and the ultra rare. You saw three super rares. We didn't get a prime, who cares? Uh, we saw so much awesome stuff. So many characters I can't wait to break out. I hope you guys can't wait to play with them either. Uh, this set is really, really cool. For any new fans of Deadpool that saw the movie, haven't read a bunch of his books, go back and pick them up, man. The sense of humor in those books are amazing. The sense of humor that WizKids is able to uh, put into this set, 
uh, just shows how in tune they are with the comic books that you love, and this is why we love this game of Hero Clicks. Uh, this is once again Scott Porter wrapping up our unboxing video series for Deadpool and X-Force. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know some of the videos went a little, little long, but who cares? There's too much cool in this set to not share with you guys. Uh, so once again, coming from North Hollywood at Hyper RPG Studios, my friends, and they should be yours. Tune in and check them out on Twitch, on Twitter, and on YouTube. Um, and tune in and see their show, Indomitable, on Monday nights. Uh, anyway, uh, coming to you from North Hollywood, this once again is Scott Porter. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing series. I know I did. I can't wait to play with this set in February and to start buying the set in March. You guys, I will see you for the next unboxing series, and until I do, I hope all of your roles are critical hits. Peace out.